day boys and girls. Um, Tuesday the 26th about 11 o'clock in the morning. Uh, I have today and tomorrow off work. Um, so you're gonna head in. I've heard the stags are roaring and the howling is howling is. Um, so I'm gonna go and see if I can find myself one or two and go from there. So uh, yeah, fingers crossed, the weather looks pretty average. Got a possible few isolated showers. Uh, the wind at the moment's like 30k winds, dropping to about 13 tonight and through to tomorrow lunchtime. So, fingers crossed. Um, I can actually hear anything, but I'm going to drop down into the guts, so that should block any noise from the uh, wind. So, if, yeah, that's, that's kind of the plan anyway. So, yeah, I'll see how we go. We'll uh, keep updated on the way. Uh, sporting the new Stony Creek attire that they sponsored me by with. Uh, no, I'm kidding, I wish they did sponsor me. Um, just brought all this out of my own pocket, but you know how it is. But yeah, um, yeah, heading on in. As I say, it's pretty grey and gross at the moment. The uh, the bros lent me his uh, little short wheel base Pajero, because my, um, my patrol has seen better days and it looks like a glow plug snapped off in the cylinders and caused a bit of damage so who knows that was from the last trip that uh, me and Callum went on but you know it is what it is so yeah I'll um, do a few videos on our way in like as per normal and yeah go from there super excited today I cracked the 100 kg mark um, so yeah I'm pretty stoked with that haven't seen haven't seen one and two zeros since I was about uh, probably 17, 18 years old. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. But yeah, awesome. So let's do it, eh? Let's get some animals down and hopefully uh, some video footage of it. Oh well, we're uh, made it to um, to the spot I'm trying to get into. Um, I say a little bit of wind here at the moment. I've got a big plan for the next. Uh, 48 hours pretty much or probably I think I'm looking at around 22 to 25 kilometers depending um, how easy it is to get around so we'll just see how it goes um, I'll be walking up uh, walking down into a gut this afternoon try and hunt there for the evening um, push back up and over in the dark go to sleep wake up at about four ish and then start walking up um, one of the main track roads along the top and then um, up into a bit of a old pine plantation it's got a few good guts uh, in between so I'm gonna head up there and uh, we've shot a few big boys up there in the past so I'll head up there first thing in the morning and see if I can start coming down some of these guts um, early on before you know before it's too hot in the arvo um, but yeah, looking pretty good. I got a little bit of overcast, so that's always nice. Um, yeah, fingers crossed. It's not too hard of a mission going up and down these hills, and I'll take the pack with me now. A couple of bars, um, my rifle, shit, you know, my head torch because it'll get dark by the time I come back, and my GPS in case I get lost. So yeah, that's the plan. Uh, I'll do some videos as I'm getting getting geared up, ready to go, and um, yeah, flying solo on this one, by the way. Uh, one of my bros, Callum, was meant to come with me, pulled last pin. Um, it's all good. I don't mind also going for stacks. Sometimes it's a little, little bit easier when there's one of it, you don't have to try and keep an eye on the other person or try and tell them to stop or whatever. So, um, yeah, fingers crossed. Something shows its face today. If, if I get a good animal today, I'll just sleep in in the morning and, um, yeah, make a call tomorrow on what my plan is. I'll probably just on home. Well, I'm all, uh, <clears throat> all packed up, ready to start for a walk. Just going to walk back up the uh, road about a couple of hundred metres and then uh, push down to the valley below. Wind is coming from this way now, so it's all going to depend which way it's coming when I hit the river below. I'm hoping it's pushing down and around because then I can push up and uh, make my way towards the private farm and then hopefully uh, something's on the edge of that if I'm lucky who knows but warm at the moment so just see how we go I'm just going to look for a spot up here that I can um, push down over the bank and make my way down through the pines I know after about shit, not too far down it opens up quite nicely so um, 
sister had done a bit of pruning down here lately so I'll just push on down and see if I can get through it nicely a few skid tracks somewhere up here so I'll just look for one and pop on down so yeah fingers crossed um go similarly not too much weight on me so happy as cool about 50 meters off the road uh, first big pile of fresh <laughs> problem is I can't walk through here quietly until I hit the open pine forest in about 100 meters so I'm just trying to go slow and make my way down and then once I um, hit that pine edge I'll go into stalk mode wish me luck <laughs> I'm gonna go that way. I've got the wind in my face now, so I should be right if I stay on this side of the river. But, um, I'll just hang fly here for 10 15 minutes. I might let out a really quiet little moan and see if anything replies. Haven't heard any roars yet, but it's pretty pretty warm. It's about 2 o'clock in the hour, so um, we'll see how we go. Well, I'll sit here for a while and um, I'll just have my important phone call um, so I'm gonna push on down the valley and go from there eh? well I've spotted an animal just in there so I'm just trying to find somewhere lie down and put the scope on him from Definitely an animal up there. I'm just going to run. Just going to put the scope on, see what it is, and then I'll call back. 
definitely a red, not a fallow um, by itself, so I don't know. I'll just put the, put the eyes on it. Eh? Oh well, first watering step, boys and girls. Let's see if we can get another decade. No! Smoke them. Oh, yeah. Oh. Right. Look like a good uh, good eight, possibly. So, um, just over there, pretty much. Um, right on that little tuft. So, I'm going to sneak up there. Oh, well, not sneak up there. I'm just going to go up and get home. Drain to the bottom, make my plan, carry on from there. First stag on the board for the Raw 2024. Yeah, baby. Our rangies, they're going. Oh, uh, hey everyone, uh, stag down, had him roaring. It's gonna drop down to the bottom of the valley and he's just up the other side. Oh, I just came onto an open, but I didn't have the right trigger cam attachments to bring my trigger cam on this one. So it's a uh, no shot, but he's literally just there, put it right through the base of his neck. So um, yeah, perfect, be a nice shot. He didn't even move, didn't kick, didn't nothing. So man, good whack too. Out this bridge and see if we can find him, eh? Nice. Come on, baby. Come on. This is him. Yeah, boy.
Oh, nice. Fuck yeah. Nice. Hey, Rangy 10. Hey, Rangy 12. Oh, baby. Hey, Rangy 12. <laughs> me. That's awesome. Thank you, sweetheart. Oh, Thank you, darling. Thank you, darling. Nice head, boys. Nice head. Oh, yeah. I'll have a breather for a minute and uh, go from there, eh? Oh, well, boys and girls. Pretty happy with that. Um, yeah, massive uh, Aurangi 12. Pretty happy. He's not long, but he's got a bit of girth to him. And yeah, two, three, four, six, yeah, 12 pointer, really even, too. Um, probably the most even I've seen in this area, so I'm quite happy with that. Um, yeah, wicked. Love the uh, 300 Storm on this trip. Mountain gear bipod and rail. Um, Defiance action. Man is stock. Proof barrel. Uh, Greg Manny Artist uh, suppressor. Good old March scope with the Hawkins rings. The damage. Um, pretty much shot it from in that little slither over there. I had him moaning. I could see him come walking back and forth through this little clearing. And then, um, yeah, he just stayed there and took a shot. He's been rubbing up hard, you know. Smashing the trees all around here, all on the way up from the uh, from the creek and up is just like all the trees are just destroyed. So um, yeah, he's a big animal. I mean, I'd be looking at that saying, right now, current weight, he's going to be one and a half me, 120, 130 kegs. I would I would say he's fucking huge, man, fucking huge. I mean. I can't even get enough of him in the photo to, to get me in. I'm 100 kilo, bang on today, 100 kilo. And he's like, massive. So yeah, I'll, um, I won't be able to get him out whole, so I'll take the head, back stakes out, take far front, back front shoulders, back legs, I'll debone them, chuck them in a bag and get them out of here, because that's going to take me uh, maybe a couple of hours to, to get back up onto the top of the peak up there. Uh, yeah, anyway, thanks for following, and I hope something like this is going to get you uh, boys and girls subscribing a bit more um, I've got some wicked hunts coming up uh, this is just an overnighter just a quick mission out I have uh, a week in the tower ruins with uh with old Ross uh, from getting out there getting it done and then home I've got four days to unpack I think I've got a day of work clean repack flying down to Fiordland uh, gonna try and smash a whoppity if I'm lucky
All right, boys. We'll, we'll catch you later, eh? All right, see you. Oh well, that was the old video call to the boys. Um, I'm gonna try and get these legs down. Maybe if I just pack it all up and just carry the two back legs and hand down the river for Troy to come collect. He needs a bit of meat, but um, I've got a bit to do still. I've, uh, I wanna f up, I wanna get down, I wanna head downstream a bit further and see if I can, now that the wind's coming this way, it's perfect. I wanna try to get into that little fallow area and see if I can spot some fallow cruising around. So I'll just see how it goes. Um, yeah, I'll turn it off for now and I'll turn it back on when I'm back down the bottom, eh? Right, I'm uh, pretty much all packed up finally. Everything's done, meets the bags in the bag, yada yada yada. Let me get some shit done. Head back down. I'm gonna walk out this creek. See how close to the end I can get. If it bluffs out or anything, I don't know. I'm hoping in a couple hundred meters it opens up. Throw this on my back. And sling the rifle because she's a couple of moments, so I wasn't gonna risk getting it too much more dirty or scratched up on the antlers. So I thought, depending how tight the bush gets, I might be able to walk a bit of the ways like this at least, which would be nice. So I'll give this a crack and see how far I get. Last hour, hour and a half of light. It's gonna sit in this little spot here. You can see about 50 to 75 meters into the wind, which is nice. Um, I might go for a little wander in a second actually and go have a look, but yeah, not far away from heading back up. Um, it would be a pitch black walk in the dark, so. Hope it's not too much of a shit. You can see big manuka, which sounds like a pain with the big white antlers, but we'll see how we go. <coughs> oh, been sitting here for about 20 minutes. Haven't heard anything. I've let out a few moans. Um, haven't heard any replies, so I wonder if this guy was just the big one in the area. Maybe it's just starting. I said he wasn't going off, but he was starting to moan. You know, I roared at him and he was like, but didn't get up or anything, just lay there doing that. So, might, might just be at the start of it all. But I'll see how we go later on tonight. I'll, put, I'll just sleep in the car, see what sounds are around. If I can hear something, I'll make my way down and um, probably hunt that first first light or something if there's anything decent sounding. So, yeah, I'm going to um, back up and make my way back up to the car. Oh. Almost up before dark. It's the uh, dead fall for the, uh, the slash from when they've thinned out these pine trees. Oh well. Back up on the track or on the road. Get the vehicle. Got me uh, antlers on the back and two like one, one and a half meter long back straps. Uh, I hung the legs up in the trees because the bro's coming in not tomorrow but the next morning and he reckons he's going to head down there and I said oh if you don't get anything bro we'll hang them in the tree because I can't drag them up especially with the head because it's just so awkward you know I said I'll leave them in the tree and send the GPS and, uh, and hopefully um if he doesn't get anything else, he'll get down there and hopefully the meat should still be all good. I mean, it's cold enough, there's not been any flies around. Um, see how it goes, eh? So yeah, just walking back to the car now. Um, I'll grab a feed, have a drink and make a plan as to what to do. Right, I'm just going to drive home, keep the missus happy, because um, you know how it goes. Happy wife, happy life, and um, yeah, might just do that, go back home to the kiddos, and then uh, that's me till after Easter, which I'll be flying into the Tower of the Rulers with Ross, uh, yeah, just um, 
So there it goes, nice easy walk out, which is good. Definitely easy in that walk out, there was a on the climb up, like probably 100 to 150 meters of deadfall, you know, slash work that I had to climb through. So she's a bit of a shot, that one. Yeah, haven't heard anything else warring yet, it was just with this one fella. And I said he wasn't, um, he wasn't fully going off. But when I saw him and let out a moan, he was moaning back. Just a bit of a But no, like, no big fucking wars. So no, let's just see if there's any other noise that go off tonight. If I hear a few more roars before I leave, you know, I might, um, I might stick around for the night and go home tomorrow. Just hurt my knee a little bit coming up one of those hills, so I might just, um, Take this next bit easy as car should just be up here. So. Yeah, awesome. Tuesday the 26th of March, and first stag on the board who was moaning and stoked. Good start to my roar this year. So, yeah, definitely uh, thanks to uh, Matt Mountain Gear. Matt at Mountain Gear. I couldn't have taken that shot, uh, it was like a 130 meter shot. With a bit of a breeze, I could have taken it without his bipod. The um, nothing else would have got the angle correct, and that was uh, really beneficial, really good. And um, and then old Otaki hunting and fishing, yeah, boy, rocking their tire. Thanks, team, supplying me this stuff or getting it in for me. So, yeah, pretty cool. Be a good roar ahead of me.